Hey everybody, welcome back to the Man Cave Poker Club. McP I haven't thought about that at all. I don't know if it's McPC, whatever. So this is the table, and this is the review of the BBO poker table that I custom ordered back in September. Arrived in January. That was not BBO's fault. That was my fault. They were very accommodating to hold it while my house was finishing completion. So when I ordered it in September, I, at that time I thought my house would be done at the end of October. I said, can you hold it for me for a month before shipping it out? They said, Absolutely. And then I said, actually, it's going to be November. And I had to come back and say, actually, it's going to be December. And I had to come back and say, actually, it's going to be January. Every time BBO, super accommodating. So thank you very much. The reason I went ahead and purchased it was I wanted the X2 Mini, and I'm still very happy with that. Uh, you can see the, the whole table here. Uh, it seats eight. You can actually add a ninth, but there are eight cup holders. Uh, there's also the dealer slot cut out here. So the X2 Mini was on closeout at the time. So there was extra you know, money off on it. And I knew it's the one that I wanted. I've been doing a lot of research on, on what I wanted. It's so fun to go play around on BBO's site and build different tables and inspect them out. So I encourage you to go do that. I understand you're going to get lots of ads after that on Facebook, Twitter, email, whatever it is that you use. You're going to see a lot of ads. Uh, but again, these are ads I don't mind seeing. Uh, I, was, I was in the market for it. I would see when the specials came up. So no problem for me there. So when the X2 Mini was on sale, again, it looks like they're not making it anymore. Maybe it'll come back at some point. Uh, but even now, uh, it shows sold out. Um, I think recently I saw one open box one that I guess got returned for some reason, uh, but I love mine. I knew I wanted it, so I went ahead and paid for it. I just reached out to them and said, hey, I'm not going to be ready to take this thing yet. And they said, fine, go ahead and pay for it. Let us know when you're ready for us to ship it. So that was awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, so as you can see, again, we have eight cup holders at seat eight. Last week we actually had nine, added another chair in, no problem. Ten might get a little tight. Nine was completely comfortable, but uh, ten, again, I mean, who wants to play ten-handed poker anyway, right? That's, that sucks. So uh, nine was fine. Eight, you know, is what I have these matching chairs for. Uh, we have the, the coin tray. I have the built-in shuffler, which we're going to uh, go over in a separate video. I absolutely love this thing. Don't regret that at all. Uh, basically, it was half the cost of the table. So the table was one piece. The shuffler being built in was another piece. Uh, it does come with a dining table top. So that's sitting over there. Let me pan over. All right, so you can see the dining table top. That's the bottom of it anyway. You can notice that it has pegs. Those pegs sit down inside of the cup holders. I won't use that very often, but for instance, uh, for the Super Bowl last Sunday, I don't want kids eating Cheetos and spilling their orange crush on the table. So I did use the dining table top. Those pegs sit down in here. It does take two people. The dining table top for this one is 60 pounds. So, you know, it's not super light and you also don't want to, you want to make sure you don't damage it. So you need to set it down directly where those pegs go in the cup holders. It would actually seat about 10, 11, 12 around that table. I mean, it, it's it's a big tabletop, so it takes up more space. Uh, I specifically wanted this one, and I was fine with the eight-handed. Uh, again, because there's other things happening down here, right? So we, you know, I have kids, and they run around and play. I didn't want the table to, to really be the main focal point, although it's the first thing people notice when they come down here. I also have a, a you know, a, a wet bar over here. We have a big sectional and TV over there. Uh, here's the uh, foosball table. So there's lots of other things going on. There's a playroom back in that corner. So, uh, you know, poker is not the main focus of this for you know, the rest of the family. Maybe it is for me. Uh, but anyways, this table just fit the space perfectly for me. So I do want to go through the ordering process. Again, you get to customize the tables there, um, I guess, unless you're buying a clearance or an open box item. So you get to pick all kinds of options. And I do want to review those. And then I'll go through the process of receiving it. How that goes. Uh, and also how, uh, you know, assembly goes. It was super easy, no problem. Um, just, again, super pleased with it. Thank you, BBO Poker. Um, if you're thinking about buying one from them or anywhere else, you know, feel free to, to reach out and ask questions. Again, I did a lot of research, uh, multiple places, multiple tables. Um, once I decided BBO would probably be the place I'd buy it. And again, been very pleased. So let's look at the um, specific specifications for this table. So this one is 71 and a half inches by 44 and a half inches, and it's 30 inches tall. When you put the dining top on, again, it does make it quite a bit bigger, and it's also rectangular, so you don't have the little corner cutouts. But the dining top dimensions are 74 and a half inches by 47 and a half inches, and it makes it 32 inches tall. Uh, seats eight players for poker. Uh, that includes the dealer spot. Uh, it included the matching dining top. That wasn't something I had to add on. And again, I won't use it that often, but I think it's a pretty nice touch. It's a nice thing to have uh, as well. Uh, it has the X-leg pedestals, which I think look pretty cool. You know, it's nice. 
Um, the deal I cut out, I didn't have an option again. It was a you know a closeout at the time. And so whenever I inquired about it, I was trying to decide if I wanted a dealer cut out or not. I wasn't certain. And I said, well, that's all that we have left. So that's what you're going to get if you want this table. So I said, cool. Now, it, uh, once I had that, I decided to go ahead and add the, um, the chip tray. And I'm glad that I did. I'm glad that I have the dealer cut out. If I had it to do over again, now that I've used it for a couple of games, I would definitely do it with the dealer cut out. I usually sit here and you kind of keep the chips and ready to hand out to people. I can make change. And I just keep my stuff kind of right here on the side uh, and it hasn't, hasn't been a problem at all. So let's go through the specifics, uh, the other specifics of what I ordered. Uh, I did upgrade, so it's a $69 upgrade to get the, the suited speed cloth. And, I, and let me tell you, it, it says speed cloth and it is. I mean, you can shuffle the cards across it, works great. They slide, I feel like a professional dealer uh, doing that. Uh, I did um, upgrade to, oh, and it's supposed to be uh, water resistant as well. Haven't tested it out, luckily nobody spilled anything yet. I'm sure the day will come. And I guess my hope is, I'm not gonna test it out, um, just on my own, but my, my hope is that I, it just kind of beads up on top and I can quickly wipe it off um, to keep it clean. The, the dealer, uh, excuse me, the shuffler, uh, so they do the cutout. They ship the actual shuffle tech machine separately and that worked fine, no problem. Um, I did add this uh, tray for $29, uh, again, which I'm pretty happy I did that. Uh, it's nice to have the chips here kind of ready to go and, and dole out um, at the beginning and then throughout the game. Let's jump into some pictures of the uh, the assembly, uh, delivery, and, and all those kind of things. Okay, so here is a picture of the truck. I've always called this SAIA when I see it on the highway, but when the uh, man came to deliver, he said, hey, Saya. <laughs> so I said, oh, that's how you pronounce it. I had no idea. Anyway, so it does come on an 18-wheeler, so be cognizant of that. Uh, if you live in a space where it'd be hard for them to get in, I don't know if it always is that way, but I kind of assume that it, that it probably does use the service like this that uses an 18-wheeler. So again, make sure that that uh, your your property can accommodate that. It comes on a pallet. Now, I did not do the white glove delivery or anything like that. On the site, whenever you order it, it says they will drop it at the curb. Well, this guy didn't even mention that. He said, hey, do you want me to put it in your garage? Um, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to unbox it and carry it in for you, but and he was willing to put it in the garage. My garage was full because I just moved. So I said, hey, just put it right here on the driveway in front of the garage and I'll unbox it. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you inspect the boxes, make sure there's no uh, glaring damage on that. Um, in this case, there wasn't. I felt good about it. I signed off on uh, accepting it. BBO gives you instructions that say, hey, if you see damage on the box, do not uh, accept it. Reach out to us. I didn't have that problem. So I accepted it. The next step was actually opening the boxes and checking for damage at that point. You can see here there's a small puncture in the padding. Now there was no damage on the box, so I can only assume this happened while they were actually packaging it up. So it probably happened at, at BBO or, you know, I, I don't know, that's the only explanation I can come up with. Uh, so briefly, let me, let me mention this piece of it. I saw it, I took a picture. Their process is if you see damage after you unbox it, you have five days to email them send them a picture and describe it to them. So I did that and they came back and this is probably the only time where I've really been disappointed um, and it's not that big a deal, but but a little bit disappointed with, with BBO's customer service on it. I sent them this and they said, go buy a vinyl or leather uh, patch repair kit. You know, ideally I think they would have said, oh, you know, sorry about that. We'll send one out to you. Uh, and again, I don't know how much these things cost. I haven't bought one yet. But anyways, when you are spending this much on it, you know, I hate to have a, a puncture in there already. You know, it looks like it got stabbed with a screwdriver or a you know, box knife or something like that. Um, anyways, so if they had just said, we'll send you one, you know, that would have been fine. Obviously, I, I don't love it being patched even, being brand new, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but a patch kit would have been nice. Uh, you know, to me, that's something that they might might want to think about actually adding in with all of the, the shipments. That way it's it's there. Uh, in case something happens, uh, either if it happened while shipping, bringing it in, or if you happen to do it later, just using the table, it's just something nice to have. Um, but at least I think that, that BBO should, if you send them something like this, say, hey, we'll send you a little repair patch um, to put on it. Uh, you know, that would, that would be a nice touch. So again, not that big a deal. The only little minor, you know, hiccup or disappointment I had uh, with the way things were handled, but everything else was great. So, you know, I'm not going to, not going to complain or push the issue on that. All right, so here it is. Uh, you know, the one box came with the pedestal legs and I just pulled those out of the box, pulled the plastic off, they were ready to go. 
uh, you can see the little beam there on the, the, the bottom left of the tabletop. So that actually uh, shipped separately. I don't think that's always the case. Um, again, I think at some point they had to, to reuse that or used it for a different table. Uh, so whenever I said, hey, I'm ready, I'm in my house, can you go ahead and ship the table? They said, well, actually, we're waiting on the, that support beam. You know, and I have no problem with them if they had to reuse it or something to get another table out the door since I continually had to put my shipment off. No big deal there. At some point, I did receive the, the shuffler, though, and I said, hey, you know, I know everything else is ready. I have the shuffler. I'm ready to play some poker. Can you please just send it and send that separately? And they completely agreed to that uh, and, and went ahead and shipped the table. Um, fun fact, the, the beam actually, or the, the support there, I keep calling it a beam, whatever. You understand what I'm talking about. Uh, it shipped out uh, and arrived before the, the table itself did. I actually think it was the day before. So it actually worked out perfectly. Here's the hardware kit, comes in a little box, has the instructions in there. Here's the instructions, very, very simple. Uh, you can see the little, the, the red Allen wrench, uh, the T-handle on the, the Allen wrench. Uh, so that was super nice. You know, a lot of times furniture just come with the little, um, you know, hockey stick <laughs> shaped one. Uh, this one having that T-handle made sure I could really get it tight. It was just a lot nicer to use. So I thought that was a really nice touch. Uh, basically this one just had um, maybe 10, 12, um, you know, bolts uh, that I had to, to screw in. No big deal. So here you can see I put the cross beam in, tighten that down, set the tabletop on it. Well, here's the coin tray. So I just set that down in the slot that's cut out. Uh, here it is as the finished product. So once you put the table on, you just, you know, screw that down. Um, you can see the hole cut out there for the shuffle tech. So here's a box for that. So it had a separate mount, uh, some different hardware. I did have to, you know, refer to some some detailed instructions on this one. I wasn't sure exactly what to do with it, and I wanted to make sure I got it right. Uh, but it, it was very easy to put together. You turn it upside down. Again, I'm going to do a separate review on this, but there's a switch to say, hey, you're, you're flush mounting this, and you need the cards uh, to exit out the top versus coming out the, the, the bottom side of it. So here it is right before I lifted it and tightened it up to the table. And then you can see, I mean, it's a perfect, you know, flush mount um, on the table. So again, everybody really loves that. Really cool feature. Here it is with chips in the chip tray. And again, I'm just in love with this table. It's great. Everybody loves it and enjoys it. It's really pretty, um, functions well. And here we are actually playing. So all in all, uh, like I said, I'm just super pleased with the table. Uh, you know, BBO has tons of tables, tons of options for whatever fits your particular space, budget, whatnot. Um, there's all kinds of add-ons. Uh, there's more things I could have added on, but you know, once I added the shuffler, uh, I was kind of kind of done with that piece of it. So uh, again, I'm going to do a separate review on that. I don't regret adding that shuffler at all. It's been awesome. Um, the the dealer cutout and and coin tray has, has worked really well. Again, for eight-handed, uh, even nine-handed, this table works great. Shouldn't play with more people than that at one table anyway. <laughs> Break it out into two games. So again, very pleased. If you have any questions about, uh, you know, my thought process or things that I wanted or things that I might be missing, uh, feel free to put a comment out there. Happy to help you out uh, in selecting your own table. So thanks. Until next time. And next time will be a review of the Shuffler.